What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Go Talk. We have two two categories for you guys tonight. Uh, what do you want to start with? All Star Break, Faz? All Star All Star Let's Break. Let's start with some All Star So I mean, some controversy in the dunk contest. Thoughts on that, uh, bro? Don't get me started. Listen, no, I'll I am getting you started. Oh, are you trying to are you trying to like fight with me tonight? Like, what's going on here? It, I didn't even do anything. Listen, Aaron Gordon jumped over a man that is seven foot between seven foot five and seven foot seven. Now, granted, like the thigh hit his head a little bit, but he still cleared at least seven two. And I'm telling you, it was Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade wanted his little Miami Heat buddy to take the win and through the dunk contest. Aaron Gordon deserved to win that dunk contest. And not only because of the dunk over Taco Fall, but like just everything else he did in the contest was insane. Thoughts oh, now? It's my turn. It uh, is your turn. Absolute highway robbery. Mm -hmm. um, not only did Aaron Gordon deserve to win this time, but he deserved to win the other time too uh, when he went up against Zach Levine. But uh, I feel bad for him because like I know – Faz, you're a Magic fan? Yeah, I'm so like, like one you, of two people I know. So, like, you don't win much as a Magic fan. I needed that. So, like, <laughs> we couldn't have just... They, they couldn't have thrown the moral victory to the Magic? Like, nope. I will say this, though. As a Magic fan, I was happy to see Dwight Howard come out with the Superman cape and the uh, the Superman dunk again. Like, that that was encouraging for me to see. But, you know, a, a, a win would have been nice for once. I also saw the dunk. It was one of Dwight's first ones. He did like a 360 and like caught it off the bounce. Mm -hmm. That dunk was really crazy when you like watched it slow down. And people thought like him in the dunk contest was kind of just like a whole publicity thing. Yeah. Because he did the whole Kobe tribute and whatnot. But I thought that was a pretty sick dunk actually for someone who's I thought there were some there. underrated uh, Dwight Howard dunks in that contest. Well, uh, I thought the first one was underrated. Like it didn't really look like much, but... <laughs> Can we talk about Pat Connaughton, who when he was uh, what he did, white men can't jump. That was awesome. That that was honestly awesome. I love that. My only problem with the dunk contest this year was that it felt like a lot of dunks were rep repetitive at times. Gordon, Gordon kind of had that. The he did like back to back dunks where he did he went like from the left side of the rim to the right side, kind of like spun in the middle. Yeah. Uh, it was the two before he did one over Chance the Rapper, and then he did another one. And then it was the Taco I feel like dunk, Chance the Rapper was everywhere during All-Star Weekend. I mean, they were in Chicago. Him and Common. Yeah. Him and Common were everywhere. Uh, you know what I hated? <laughs> I don't know if you saw the beginning of the game, like, of the actual All-Star game when Common introduced everyone, but he was trying to, like, rhyme, rhyme their names. Yeah. He was like, oh, like, he gets to the rim without refusal. Giannis Antetokounmpo. And I was like, come on, man. Don't do that. I mean, what else was he going to rhyme it with? He shouldn't have had to rhyme them at all. That's my point. It was just funny hearing him rhyme, like, Demontis Sabonis was something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Luka Doncic, like, <clears throat> it it was definitely entertaining. But I gotta say though, I think the whole weekend, like, even though Aaron Gordon lost, this is one of the best All Star weekends we've seen in a while. See, I thought the dunk contest was a little overhyped. <laughs> really? Yeah, because everyone's like, oh, this is like the one of the best of all time. I'm like, eh. I Levine mean, and Gordon are still way better to me. Just to like go into double overtime though, like, is good. I think uh, definitely. The most like relevant recent dunk contest. Like when you think of the dunk contest, you think of the ones with Jordan, Dominique. You think of Vince Carter. The Vince Carter 2001. Even like one of the Jason Richardson ones were pretty crazy. Yeah. But like that Levine Gordon one, and I think it was 2016 in Toronto. That's like the dunk contest like of the modern era. And I thought this other one was like good, but like I don't know if it's. I c I wouldn't even compare it to. I it. would not compare it to 2016 at all. I think 2016 is in the top three of all time. Like that was that was. That good, like Jordan, yeah, Gordon, Carter, and like, Carter, yeah, yeah. yeah. But th this yeah. one wasn't comparable. But I just think like the weekend as a whole was really good. Like the game format. Did you watch the oh, game? Oh, I loved that. I watched the end of it. They took so, thoughts about it ending on a free throw. I didn't like that. Super anticlimactic. I, you think they're gonna change it for next year? <laughs> um, that we'll you can't. We'll win see on a if they throw. even keep it for next I said, year. I, I think said they it should have been one on one. They should be the whole a game one and one at one yeah. on one. Well, the, the whole, whole game should be one on ones. Like when, I think when the they're in the bonus. No, nah, I think only the fourth should be one and one. But I, either way, like I get the perspective. Hmm. Well, first, obviously, you guys are assuming they'll keep it for next year. I, I think, think they, they will. will. I, yeah, they I went think up eight percent in viewers. Eight percent. Yeah. And yeah, dude, it was so entertaining. Wow. To watch wait, that. eight percent. Kobe tribute. Oh. Uh, it's all just matching up. Everything's matching. Don't up. you love it when a plan just comes together? That's actually crazy. Don't you? 
<laughs> don't you love when plants come together? I felt some weird tension there. I don't want to know. No, that there wasn't, wasn't any tension. He's just waiting to say something. I didn't say, I, I I didn't know, say it I was bad. No, there, wasn't, there wasn't any weird tension. It was just... He's, he's giving me the look over there. He's waiting for me to slip up so he can call me stupid or something. Whoa. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have lost in the game of 21, Coward. Page, that's defamation maybe of character. Maybe you shouldn't be a Magic fan. That was defamation of my character. You caught that, camera. Camera got it. The mics caught it. I caught it. You know who didn't catch the W? Who? Aaron Gordon. All right, bro. Like he he won in our hearts. Did he though? He won. Twenty years from now, you're gonna remember in your heart that Aaron Gordon won that dunk contest. I mean, I will because I'm a Magic fan. I will remember that that dunk over Taco Fall or the dunk where he like caught it and I don't even know how to describe it. The one where he caught it like yeah, and that was he crazy. jumped on the left side of the rim and ended up on the right side of the rim. I'll remember that over any of those Derek Jones Jr. dunks. You know why? Because I can't even think of them right now. I can't think of them either. Actually, he won though. Bro, but like Aaron Gordon, like like Taco Falls a meme in of himself. You, do you know what's funny though? So you play two K, you play two K. Yeah. You guys play two K my team. At yeah. All? So, well, they had the like what ninety five. So by the yeah. way, first a little a little subtle flex. I just got the Galaxy Opal Vince Carter. So call him flex. But besides that, <laughs> even with two K, the two K my team with the moments. They made Aaron Gordon a pink diamond, a 97 overall, and they made Derrick Jones Jr. a 95. What does that really? tell you? Yeah. What does that tell you? Well, okay. I I would love to argue against you two, but there is no denying that Aaron Gordon should have won that dunk contest. Yeah, I know you like are looking for a way to argue with me, and like this isn't going to be it because he should have won. You love arguing with me, but you can't argue with me. Right you right? can't argue that. I Th- can't argue that. I can't. But I will say though, like going back to the game, like I really liked the format. Like it was intense. Like I've never seen an All Star game where they were playing, like they weren't just like playing defense. Like th- it was legitimate lockdown defense. Yeah. Like it was intense. Was that a goaltender or not? I thought it was not it was a goaltender. That was the closest thing I've I ever. I thought it was a goaltender. Like, I still don't know. I personally I really didn't don't. think it was, but like I'm not gonna argue it with you because it was just it was so close. If you saw it in real time and all the slow mos, like. It could be down to one frame and you're still on the fence. Like, that's how close it was. Yeah. But honestly, I thought they were going to try and, like... Did you see when there was, like, back-to-back charge calls and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. That they was like, a little, tr- like... Yeah, they're trying a little too hard. Yeah. I think what they wanted to do in a perfect world was LeBron finish it or AD finish it. Not... Yeah. Who finished it? it um, well, AD finished well, it. AD oh, he finished, finished at the free throw, throw line. Yeah, and then yeah. Kawhi won MVP. Yeah. Kawhi deserved MVP, though. All right, well, I have another hot take about All-Star Weekend. What? I thought the three-point contest was the most entertaining, besides the game. It was. Besides the game. Well, it came down to the last shot. Buddy Heald winning on the last shot. I, think I the thought dunk it was con- more entertaining than the dunk contest. That's a hot take. You know what they should... All right, you want to hear a hot take? You know what they should bring back to All-Star Weekend? Remember the Shooting Stars Challenge? Yes, when it was like... It's the, like a the, legend, a WNBA player, and, and then a NBA player. player. Yeah. That was like... It, was, it always went first, but it was always like... One of the best ones. It was. It was the. It was like the free throw of the three, and then they had to shoot from half court, and it was like it almost looked like a game of knockout where they would run around and yeah. like. Put up, yeah, I, it was entertaining. 